In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the seam um, when you use the symmetry modifier. Uh, if I turn on my edge faces here, you can kind of see what I've done. I have a plane, I've added a few modifiers, and then I've added the symmetry modifier. And with the symmetry modifier, I can move around that um, midline. But you can see that it kind of welds it in a not so great way when you start to smooth it. If I turn off the turbo smooth, you can sort of see you know, it creates these kind of dimples in the surface. So what I'd recommend after you add the symmetry is to add an edit poly modifier and then the first thing you want to do is remove any kind of floating points like this one. So you can't actually delete them because it will delete the polygons. So what you have to do is select the vertice and then hit um, over here on the right under the vertex level of the edit poly. If you hit remove you can start to remove these floating vertices. So that's the first thing you can do, and you notice there's quite a few of them. And just by doing this, if I add that Turbo Smooth back on it, you can see it really cleans up the topology of the surface. You still get some kind of strange other uh, features that happen, like these triangulations. So you can fix these by just rebuilding those polygons. So if you, for example, um, let me remove this one vertice here, but like in this location, if I want to rebuild this so it's a cleaner um, a cleaner geometry when you smooth it you can start to select polygons and delete them and then if you go under polygon under edit poly you can use the create option and you can actually turn on your snaps here although you don't have to and if you hover over these points you'll notice the icon changes and then if you start clicking on these points you can actually rebuild that polygon and you can right click on the last one to um, to finish it. So now when I add a turbo smooth to this geometry, it's a bit cleaner and it's all quads. So you can do this for the entire um, form and you'll have a much cleaner welded seam at that point. 